Hi there and welcome to our How to Use Vendor Master Data Records in Financials 365 video. Today we're going to take you through how to import Vendor Master Records in Financials. In this video, we're going to show you how to provide your initial flash finance fields for the, for the vendor card, show you how they are populated, and how you add your additional posting fields, dimension fields, and other additional fields. Financials utilizes what's known as a configuration package to manage setting up and importing the master data from your legacy system into financials. What we are going to show you that is different to our last videos on customer master data is exporting the config package with additional vendor specific tables to Excel as a whole rather than exporting as individual tables. This entails modifying the FlashFin package. You can find out more about this by watching our Introduction to Flash Master Data video, where we spoke about configuration packages and the Flash included tables and fields within. The following slide shows three different tiers of uploading Vendor Master Data. The first column shows the Flash included fields for Vendor Master Data, and these fields are already provided by financials to be filled in by the customer. The next column is dimensions and posting groups. This includes two global dimensions, the general business, GST business, and customer posting groups. The third column is for additional fields. An example of commonly used additional fields would be vendor bank accounts, ship to addresses, payment terms, and payment codes. You might even require vendor specific pricing to be set up. Please note that if the customer or partner wishes to upload additional fields, to do so after uploading everything that has been covered in this video. It's also important to be aware when uploading master data records that when adding additional fields that all the related tables need to have values. For example, if you're adding a vendor dimension, vendor bank accounts, ship to addresses, payment terms and payment codes, that you need to add the relevant additional tables required and populate that data first prior to uploading the vendor table. This is so that the values are already in financials and can be linked using the relation table IDs. To begin this process for importing vendor master data, log into Financials 365. Today, we're going to be in our demo company Lucy's Lemonade. Then, use the universal search function to find and select the configuration packages. Here we can find a list containing the correct config package required, Flash Fin. Select the Flash Fin config package from the list. The config package contains each of the tables with each of the fields which will be exported to Excel for importing the data. Please refer to the Introduction to Master Data Importing video for more information on this. Select the relevant table you wish to populate. In this case, highlight Table 23 Vendors and then you can select the number of included fields from the list. This shows the fields currently included in the table. From here, we can see a list of the default fields that come out of the box ticked. We have vendor number, name, address, phone number, account number, fax number, postcode, state, email, homepage, ABN, and the registration tick. If we jump back and click on the table in the ribbon and select field, or alternatively number of fields available, here we can specify what fields we wish to be included for our data. By including specific fields that may be required for importing the legacy data of the business. The fields that are ticked are the fields which will be exported to Excel to be populated with the data and brought back into the system. So it's important that if you need additional fields that may be from the legacy system to specify it here first prior to exporting the file. You then have what are called setup fields. These are additional fields for things such as dimensions, general business, GST business and vendor posting groups. As well as this, you have what are known as additional fields for items the customer may want to create themselves. For this example, let's add the payment terms and payment method fields. To do this, we can simply search for payment, click edit list in the ribbon, and select the two fields payment terms and payment method. You will notice these two fields have a relation table ID. This table number here refers to a separate table that is linked by this common field. 
For this example, Table 3 for payment terms. And payment methods related table is Table 289. These tables can be added to the config package card and as mentioned earlier, should be populated prior to populating the vendor table itself. Select the checkbox for payment terms and payment method fields and close this page. Let's add the two related tables to the FlashFin config package to export and populate. Table 3 and Table 289. You will get a message when adding Table 289 saying that the payment method table has a related field in the general ledger table for the balancing account number. Ignore this message for now. When we upload these two tables, this additional information will be added to the vendor card using the vendor number field in the vendor table. Once all the relevant fields in the table you wish to populate have been selected, and the two additional tables for payment terms and payment method have been added, click on Export to Excel from the Actions menu in the ribbon and save this file on your computer. Select Yes. Open the Excel file and you'll now see the template for vendor data ready to be input. You can manually key in this data or paste it from your existing business records that you may have from the legacy system. If you discover any additional fields that should be required, you will have to add the additional fields in financials and re-export the file. Next, populate the data in the table. It's important that you stay within the character limits of each column field and no changes to the columns or layouts are made, or the populated records may be cut short, or result in the file not being imported correctly when importing the populated spreadsheet back into financials. Here's a template I populated earlier. This has the additional tables and fields for our vendors added. We can leave the other tables blank and still import the file. Once you have input your data, save this file and close Excel. To import the master data back into financials from the populated Excel template, go back into financials and select import from Excel in the actions ribbon. Next, select the Vendor Master Data Excel file you've just saved. Once you have imported the file, you will see the number of package records has changed. It has now populated all of the data values. These are the entries that we wish to input. Select Validate Package in the Actions ribbon to determine if you have introduced any errors, such as not including tables that the configuration relies on. For example, if we had specified vendor payment terms in the vendor table without actually adding the linked vendor payment terms table with the required values that are relied upon. You can either select package data from the ribbon and click show error, or alternatively you can click on number of package records in the tables list to view the data being imported, and then click show error from the ribbon to see any errors and check that the data is not corrupted. We can then check the other two tables, and if any errors exist, hovering over the record will display the error message in full. And once you're happy with the data and there are no errors, you can then validate and apply the data, and it will be imported into the system. You can either apply each of the tables one by one as per our last video on customer master data, in which case you would be applying the payment terms and payment method codes prior to the vendor table. However, in this example, we're going to be showing you how to apply the package as a whole, as I mentioned earlier. To do this, select Apply Data in the ribbon, and our vendor details are now in the system. Financials will even tell you what time it was imported. Select Database Data to confirm the records imported. As the population of master data is done using Excel, it's easy to re-export and re-import the tables if any changes are required to be made, such as correcting errors from the information that was input incorrectly or incorrect fields being selected and or populated. Review of data records and data cleansing is best conducted outside of Financials 365 to allow full collaboration between the relevant parties. 
It's important to mention that the customer would usually take on master data themselves and that anything outside of what is in the flash configuration package would naturally extend the timeline of the customer's go live. The customer should refer to the inclusions and exclusions document, which is available on our website. Or alternatively, they can speak to their partner about what's included in flash. And that was how to use vendor master data records within Financials 365.